Hey guys, if you were part of the January history that was made, you would have been part of the gamma squeeze of all gamma squeezes in GameStop. But what about the mother of all short squeezes? When is that coming? Well, maybe a gamma squeeze actually could be in the midst before that happens. That's why I want to cover today's DD part two, massive open interest and volume on call options this week and high volatility. As always, I'm going to deliver the information too long didn't read up front, and then we're going to go back and circle in all of the important details so that you continue to invest in yourself. And the only thing that I ask is go ahead and make sure that you have already hit that subscribe button, smash that notification button, that bell button right there so you don't miss out on another live stream and give Meatball a treat by pressing that like button as well. That said, out of the way, let's get going. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and look at the too long didn't read. Too long didn't read. Uh, we have... Uh, hold on. We have two long didn't read and then another two long didn't read. Uh, key point one, high calls OI coupled with increase in stock price shows bullish sentiment. This is reinforced with the increased implied volatility or the options and open interest at $800 is huge. Key point two, we might see a similar domino effect as calls could be exercised if they become in the money when stock price reaches $150, that will ultimately push it to $200 and so on. Too long didn't read, GME go burr, green crayon, don't be surprised if GME drops 10% to get onto the SSR today. And we did see some significant drops on the GME. Had a low of 119 today. Let's see if it actually got even lower. I'm gonna scroll over the chart uh, a little bit lower. It's 118, uh, 117, 115 earlier when market opened. So we are seeing some pretty significant volatility on GameStop. And I hope you guys are gonna be prepared to face what this article is. And the most important thing, as always, with every DD, make sure to do your own research. Make sure to understand that this is not the end-all or be-all, and there might be caveats and clarifications in the future. Do your own research, and away we go. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Gamma squeeze quick recap. Gamma squeezes can begin when a large investor typically referred to as a whale buys short dated call options. The banks or brokers that sell the call options will typically buy the underlying stock so that they have very little or no net exposure. The more call options the investor buys, the more shares the brokers that sold the options will have to buy to ensure that they are net flat. Brokers and dealers are motivated by commissions and do not want to hold a trade either long or short, given that these whale buy calls, the option purchases force the dealers to buy the underlying stock, which can push the share price higher. If pulled off, this creates a positive feedback loop, thus can drive underlying stock prices for a higher for a period of time in a roundabout way the dealers must buy more and more of the underlying that is the simplest english simple english way of understanding what a gamma squeeze is all about when the price of the stock reaches above the strike price when it's in the money uh, those who have bought the call options may exercise their right to buy the shares but it's an option not an obligation so why does this matter <laughs> well let's see uh, well first let's look at the call options expiring in a Friday, fri uh, sorry, let's look at the call options expiring this Friday, March uh, 5th, that are currently out of the money. Just pretend to stare at the tables if you can't read, they'll explain it later. So there's a volume of 46,000 shares above the strike price is 4.6 million. Open interest, zero. Let's look at this next one. Volume, 36,000. Shares above the $150 strike price, 3.6 million. Open interest, 43,000. So thus leads us to the key point number one. Comparing the options chain between the, the two days, it could be seen that yesterday there was 43,000 in open interest in contrast to uh, zero on the 2nd of March. Why is this important? Well, open interest gives you key information regarding the liquidity of an option. It reflects upon the number of contracts that are actively held by investors and traders, and these are the positions that have been open and not closed yet. If there is no open interest in an option, there is no secondary market for that option. When options have a significant open interest, it means that there are a large number of buyers and sellers out there. An active secondary market increases the odds of getting option orders filled at good prices. At its core, open interest paints a picture of how much capital is being injected into a given market. 
keeping an eye on open interest is vital to identifying trends in that growing open interest signifies that an influx of money is likely to stimulate action and aid price extension. Conversely, falling open interest alludes to activity drying up or capital exiting the market. This suggests that the presence of any prevailing trend is short-lived and adopting a reversal strategy may just be the best course of action. All other things being equal, the bigger the open interest, the easier it will be to trade that option at a reasonable spread between the bid and the ask. Linking back to the GME options chain, a significant 43,000 call option going long accumulated yesterday when compared to zero of the previous day, 2nd of March. The rising prices during the uptrend, uh, coupled with the rising open interest, can mean that new money is coming to the market and can be a sign of bullish sentiment. And as you guys know, if you guys come to the live streams, we do a lot of momentum-based analysis of whether or not there's bullish or bearish sentiment or momentum. Another point I'd like to make is that the implied volatility uh, is extremely high for the options chain with a strike price above $150. As expectations or demand rises an op for an option, the implied volatility, IV, increases proportionally and leads to a higher buy option premium due to the risky nature of the option. Why would any sensible investor buy almost 10,000 calls uh, with a 906% IV if the stock was bound to plummet. And no, calls these huge are probably not bought by retail traders or people YOLOing. There's something larger at play and will probably require another post. Uh, just so you guys understand, the only viable reason that they see that the, uh, is large whales or investors see the potential of another gamma squeeze before the end of the week. And we even covered what, that one of those whales seems to have already have $100 million in this call options. So... The post here is pretty self-explanatory and gets deep in the numbers if anyone is interested. It also provides a numerical value that backs the theory mentioned above. Take a look and fill in your bananas and also make sure to read this disclaimer. So, leads us to key point number two. I guess we can all agree that last week's gamma squeeze was due to market makers' delta hedging strategy that seeks to be directionally um, neutral by establishing offsetting long and short positions in the same underlying assets. Very simple to understand this in plain English is... A delta hedge is when you have sold a contract to someone and the, that contract is about to be in the money. You decide to buy that stock early before it actually ends up costing you a lot of money. That is called delta hedging and it improves the price because if it's for call options that are about to be in the money, you have to buy the stock and increasing the price thusly. Reaching in the money strike prices causes a surge in volume that, uh, that is due to the calls being exercised. If the stock reaches 150, that may cause an increase of 500,000 volume that will boost it to the 200s and so on. Domino effect. Now that uh, they are stating something new, but they're not saying something new and has probably been mentioned by other users. However, the volume of call options being expired is significant at the current stock price. Just to put it perspective, last week's gamma squeeze was initiated, had uh, in the money, had $100 million of shares that were at 55 and 300 million dollars of shares that are at 120. Looking at the charts from last week, uh, the spikes in the price direction directly correlated to options being exercised at $55 and 120 uh, $120 strike price, not to mention the volume increase due to FOMO and hype. Comparing last week's data to third March option chain, we have proportionally way more, $850 at $150 and $2 billion at $800, if it can get up to $800. Please note that the strike prices mentioned above are out of the money currently because that's how it is gme is currently not at 150 uh and has taken by com for comparison as per speculations if the stock price hits 150 by friday huge value right at this point i won't be surprised if someone comes out and slaps me in the face because i would do the same to myself after looking at those numbers anyways the point being is the week is similarly set up for a gamma squeeze like last week if the 150 dollar options are in the money by friday now this is a big if and it could go either way, but if it does happen, we'll be seeing the price skyrocket to the moon and just from the options being exercised. So over on this channel, we've talked a lot about how the short squeeze and mechanically how that works, but every 
buddy has always given the gamma squeeze on the sidelines the the it doesn't seem as likely it maybe is just not as sexy it is something that is coming and i want to know whether or not you guys think that this week is set up for a gamma squeeze if we can make make the 150 dollar mark and i would really hope that uh we don't do it quite yet because i am trying to buy a thousand dollars of gme for getting up to 35,000 subscribers so please please get me up there quickly so that i can get into gme while it's still under 150 dollars if you guys like this video make sure to check out a playlist and another video down below to understand a little bit more about the situation and invest in yourself hitting that subscribe button and that bell button is the easiest way to do that and for now but not for forever hope you have a nice day